fibrolipomas and lipofibromas are benign tumors and usually they are described as lumps or masses under the skin for example here and here uh, it's fibrolipomas uh, fibrolipomas usually are subcutaneous and it can be described as rubbery lump beneath the skin or it can be uh, firm during palpation uh, they grow slowly and usually they are benign uh, we will discuss uh, what is most common features of their and differences between fibrolipomas and lipofibromas they both uh, fibrolipomas and lipofibromas are types of lipoma lipoma is most common benign mass uh, in, under the skin and uh, it is composed majorly by adipose tissue or fat now let's focus on differences fibrolipoma and lipofibroma uh, fibrolipoma usually is subcutaneous while uh, lipofibroma uh, commonly is intramuscular or uh, intermuscular you see here locations is intermuscular position is intramuscular position and it's subcutaneous position so fibrolipoma is usually subcutaneous um, lipofibroma can be intramuscular and intermuscular uh, fibrolipomas usually more firm during pal palpation and more fixed while lipofibromas are more soft and more mobile fibrolipomas are more common in uh, middle age and older adults while lipofibromas are more common among children uh, fibrolipomas have very few risk of um, malignancy there are some cases um, described but it's considered that malignant transformation of fibrolipoma is extremely rare while lipofibroma also has very small risk of uh, small risk of malignation but slightly higher compared to fibrolipoma um, and uh, diagnostic criteria are different also uh, fibrolipomas are described as fibrous pockets and adipose tissue inside while uh, lipofibroma is described as fat tissue interspersed um, fibrous strands so uh, that's a different uh, fibrolipoma has more uh, fibrous tissue uh, while uh, lipofibroma has uh, less uh, fibrous tissue and more fats and um, let's say what is considered uh, small and what is considered large uh, if uh, fibrolipoma or lipofibroma is less than two centimeters is considered small and most cases are like this uh, large uh, large is considered when it's more than five centimeters what is ca what is causes now let's talk about causes causes usually they are sporadic and uh, there is no specific cause of uh, these conditions sometimes it's inherited uh, so sometimes it has genetic basis or in spontaneous mutations uh, or it also can develop after trauma uh, if it develops after trauma it has slightly higher risk of uh, malignant transformation uh, but usually it's sporadic and uh, sometimes it has genetic uh, genetic basis and sometimes there is uh, there is hypothesis that uh, it can be autosomal dominant in some cases but such genetic basis is not fully understood uh, now what what's the uh, treatment uh, 
treatment uh, if they are small and they have no symptoms and usually they have no symptoms they are just mass uh, and during palpation person can feel this mass but um, very rarely they can cause symptoms if they compress around tissue or nerve they can have some symptoms in this case the treatment is surgery surgical removal uh, if no symptoms, no need treatment. Sometimes uh, biopsy is needed to assess uh, the structure if uh, there is uh, suspicious um, coincidences. Uh, and uh, diagnosis is made by usually ultrasound, also computed tomography uh, and MRI also shows well then. Uh, biopsy sometimes uh, less frequently is needed and that's all thank you for your interest if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now